Morning Floss Tube, it's Jean of Monticello Stitches. Hope you're doing well this morning. I am going to give you a little bit better look into the four uh, new releases I have for the Nashville Needlework Market 2024. My last floss tube was rushed up and I was out of town when I did it. And after looking at it, you really can't see much of these cross stitch things. So today I'm gonna to give you a little bit better view. And uh, if you want to have your local needle workshop, order some, uh, they'll be available at the Nashville show next week, just about a week away, uh, and they can get them for you. Okay, the first one is called Forgive Anyway, and it's an alphabet sampler. It's on uh, cream linen, and I'll give you all the info in a minute. There's a glare, isn't there? But it's, this is a good um, sampler to use up your stash of floss. It just has a lot of colors, and I've named them all, but you could certainly just use your own. But it says forgive first, forgive often, and forgive anyway. And that's just a great gift to give yourself. So here is my pattern. This year I am um, binding them, which makes it good because sometimes my things are kind of big and there's a lot of pages. But this was stitched on 36 count cream linen with two strands of floss over two linen threads. And it's 134 stitches by 187 stitches. And for this count of 36, the design area was eight and a fourth by roughly 11 and a half. So let me show it to you one more time. It's called Forgive Anyway. And it's just a happy little cheerful thing. If you like it, just let somebody know. Thanks so much. All right, let's look at the next one. The next three are like a celebration series. And I think I mentioned in my last floss tube that um, these are not personalized. So you can re-gift them or they can hang longer than the season of sometimes a marriage or children grow up. You can use them for grandchildren, whatever. So these are not personalized, but they get the, the message and the sentiment of a celebration. So first we have, for this child I prayed, and the Lord has given me the desires of my heart. So let me move a little closer. All right, let me get my info and I'll show it to you again. And I bound this one as well. So here's the pattern for this child I prayed. This one was stitched on, also on 36 count cream linen with two strands of floss over two linen threads. And the stitch count is 200 by 200. And the design area is 11.11 .11 inches by 11.11 .11 inches. So let me show it to you again. So not, not real big. Could be in a nursery or uh, whatever you think. But you could certainly enjoy it for years after your baby is grown up. So that's for this child, I pray. And in the theme of celebration, um, Last year at Nashville Needlework Market, uh, a customer asked me if I would consider doing a um, wedding sampler. And let me get it. I've done two that celebrate weddings, or one definitely weddings because it's got wedding verbiage in it, traditional wedding verbiage, verbiage in it, if you like that. And the other one is just a celebration of love. Let me get it because apparently I forgot to bring it in here. Okay, this one is kind of big, and it's called uh, Love Never Ends. It looks like it should be called Love Unites Us, but actually I have another chart name. Let me get closer. You'll see this is on fabric flare. You can see that the, the fabric is actually patterned kind of like old lace, kind of reminded me of an antique wedding this glare. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But, um, let's see how big it is. It's 
So let me tell you a little bit, bit more about it. Uh, Love Never Ends is um, 281 stitches by 324 stitches. And this is a 36 count white floral lace on cream by Fabric Flare. Um, and you can get Fabric Flare prints designs on really any kind of count or weave you want. So this was a linen, but you can get it on Ada. You can get it there. They're very flexible in how they offer their fabrics. So um, 36 count, two, uh, two strands of floss over two linen threads. So it's also bound. This one, it's really a good thing that it's bound because it's, it's got, the chart alone was 12 pages. So, but hopefully it's big enough readable. But, um, this will be at National Market next week, too. So thanks. And then my last one of the four that I have is also a celebration sampler. This one is more uh, traditional wedding, if that's your thing. I know there's some oldies and goodies who, like me who said these words a long time ago. This one is called To Have and To Hold For and it's to have and to hold from this day forward. And as you can see, a little bit better on here, this is also that fabric flare, uh, white floral lace on cream. Also 36 counts. So let me move in a little bit more. If you can see how pretty the fabric is, and I do apologize for the glare. So let me tell you about this one. It's bound as well. Here is the chart. This one is 184 by 191 stitches. On this 36 count, it was 10.22 uh, inches by 10.51 inches, so a little less than 11 inches square. Um, for this market, I have 200 of each of my patterns. I hope I sell them, but anyway, I'll have it if not. And so, uh, for showed me her binding machine, her plastic comb binding machine. So I've just done 800 of these suckers. <laughs> but I'm, I'm real happy because I tend to, you know, make bigger, big things and pages can drop, get misplaced. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, today is Tuesday, the 20th of February, and I will leave for Nashville next Thursday, the 29th. And uh, that show goes on through Sunday and you'll probably come home on Monday. So um, I'm almost ready. I've got to put my 800 uh, new charts into the plastic sleeves and get them all divided up for what's going to a distributor or what I'm selling in my room. It's, it's exciting. It's a lot of work, but it's exciting. And in the meantime, when I should be doing my cross stitch, I've been knitting. And I have found a great stress buster pattern for this needlework thing. It's, it's a shawl. It's all garter stitch. And it's on Ravelry. It's called Semaphore Wrap. Semaphore Wrap by Charles D. Gandy. And it's, I like it. It's based on um, nautical flags. So I'm gonna see if you can see what it looks like. Well, I don't know if you can. So it's this part at the middle has blocks, varying size of blocks. And then on the side, apparently I'm in the middle of a row here. So on the side, um, it's black and white stripes. It's really, it's really a nice graphic pattern. It kind of reminds me of those color blocks. Who did those? I'll think of it. Mondrian, maybe? It kind of reminds me of that. But um, this is my project, just a mindless knit to kind of keep my mind off everything else. But um, thanks for joining me. I just wanted to give you a little bit closer look at my things. After looking at my post, I was like, well, that, that was so fast. Who could see that? So I hope you have a good week, and uh, I'll be back 
after the market and I've already got ideas for my next things. I always have too many ideas and not enough time, especially if I interrupt with knitting. <laughs> Y'all have a great day and thanks for spending a few minutes with me. Bye-bye.